This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety on their website, have of course Vivid Voltage and everything you might need to start playing on TCGO. You can use the coupon code ZADOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day and here you can uh, purchase cards and sell cards to people all across Europe, so definitely check out that website as well. And Use the affiliated link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and enjoy the video. Peace! What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're gonna be playing with ADPZ. I know what you're gonna say uh, ban ADP, ADP is busted. Why are you playing this? Well, we've already covered a lot of rogue decks. We checked out the Togekiss control list, a Lugia Wilder box, Steelix budget deck. Right now, it's back to uh, focusing on the main uh, threat in the format, and that's going to be ADP. Alter Creation Jacks allows us to take additional prize cards and lets us deal 30 more damage. That means Brave Blade smacks 260 with Leon, that's 290, so stuff like uh, Picaram or maybe stuff like Metal Goggles, we don't mind that at all anymore because we just go straight through it. And uh, we also have access to uh, the Captivating Wing, putting targets like Crobat, Eldegos, Dedenne on the opponent's bench, very busted. If we might come across Altaria or the Sidui, we don't care that as, as well. We have Aegis Slash, so this deck has answers against everything. And we have Energy uh, Spinners, three copies of that. And Jirachi, the amazing rare Jirachi from Vivid Voltage, will try to dig through the deck. Either you find uh, yeah, a Pokemon that you want with the Dreamy Revelations, or you can dig for your uh, supporters or trainers. You might say that uh, the... Um, uh, Jirachi from Team Up is better, but this uh, requires less space. You don't need uh, like a bazillion amount of scoop up nets and all that. We do run the air balloons, which could help for uh, the Jirachi as well as getting the gestation out of the active after using a brave blade. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the deck. It's just busted. It's, it's broken. This is the best deck in the format, and we're gonna be playing the Vivid Voltage build from this uh, with, of course, Amazing Red Jirachi, Leon, and Aegislash V. This deck doesn't have any terrible matchups. It can technically win against everything. The only thing you will need in the early on is like attachment onto your uh, ADP. Also, be careful of decks running Crushing Hammer, so wait with attaching your water energy until you are ready to strike. Do you go first with this deck? Always, because that way you can rely on the Intrepid Sword, and uh, that's pretty good right here. Also, if you have something like Stellar Wish, uh, not Stellar Wish, the Jirachi Amazing Rare, you can actually sometimes get an energy on top of the deck so you can Intrepid Sword that. Okay, we have switched cards all around. Probably, mm, yeah, I think I will just attach here. Not gonna be using Energy Spinner for the Metal Energy or Water Energy because I uh, probably will research next turn and actually want to increase my chance of getting an energy on top of the deck with Intrepid Sword. It does not work. We also get not a lot of things. <laughs> he did start with the Danny, which is good. We can energy switch that. Uh, we do play four energy switches. So as soon as you get one energy onto your field, you're already good. Okay, the Danny, he's playing <laughs> ADP Zation as well. Well, who will get the first Alter Creation GX off? Interesting for sure, because the first person that can get it off wins the game. Most of the time, unless like crazy Marnie plays or uh, hidden reset stamps in the deck play out perfectly. Our hand is also pretty bad. Yo, he gets rid of a water type energy and two metal energies. And Viridian Forest. Probably didn't want to put that Viridian Forest down for us, so we could have gotten an extra energy. I wonder if we should go for the Danny GX. Probably not, because we have another Danny GX in our deck. So I think straight research is better. Okay, he has a Zation of his own. That's pretty fine. I think either we go on the offensive right now. Let's say we have a quick ball. We can get stuff in the discard pile. Yeah, we'll see. All these cards, we can simply put them in a discard pile because we don't mind at all. Okay, he has a Zation of his own in the active slots. Is he going to go for... He could go for a Marnie play if he hasn't used supporter just yet. Okay, he's just going to go for Intrepid Sword. Hopefully not too many energies get attached. Okay, that is pretty, pretty scary. So at this point, I actually want to destroy him. Okay, 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 okay. What to do right now? Egg slash could be coming down. <laughs> it's pretty scary, right? Hmm. Yeah, we do we do on the metal. Uh, we probably will draw into like Jirachi Amazing Rare anyhow, but just to play it safe, I'm gonna slap down this fella because I don't want energy spinner. Also gonna take a metal energy here. More metal energies in the discard pile, the better. 
we could switch and then retreat. Yeah, that's also not gonna matter too much here. We also want him in the... Like, if we get two saucers, we can still attach for turn, right? Yeah, not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do a different plan. Nope, I'm gonna switch over to this and we are gonna go for research. Okay, this is looking like something. Cherish the Danit. More energy spinners. I think energy spinner is fine. If we can get another switch card. There's only one switch card left though, but we do have energy switches. So at least that's fine. Yeah, let's go. Trying to dog the Zation right here. It's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. We have a lot of uh, energy switches though. Cherish Ball. Yeah, I think it's ADP time. Sword. Okay, we have the water energy. We can <laughs> instantly either attack him or go for Alter Creation, which will get us the win later. We do have great. <laughs> this is. We went through the deck like like a monster for real. Yo, I wonder if he's gonna get his Alter Creation GX off. He already put one water engine in the discard pile as well as the Viridian Forest. If this fella goes down, we can attach energy switch, Alter Creation, and go from there. Okay, quick ball. And the reason that I actually did not uh, activate that Dedani is that I actually knew I had another Dedani in the deck with a high amount of Cherish Ball. Shouldn't be afraid of this at all. He has a Zacian that is completely wide open. He could attack or he could try to go for energy switches. I wonder... Ah, probably should have used energy switch already on our ADP. Because now all these cards go down to the bottom of the deck. Oh well. We do have a quick ball, that means Crobat time. It's good, it's fine. Is it good just gonna knock us out? Yeah, if he can knock us out, then we... Yeah, he can probably like have a switch and boss again. But then his Zacian goes down, already two saucers down. Do we go for Alter Creation or just attack him with our own Zacian? That is the question of the day. Okay, Saucer, okay, it's looking pretty scary for sure. Okay, Intrepid Sword. No attacks. No attacks have been declared here. Interesting for sure. Okay, quick ball this. It's Crobat time. Come on, energy switches and water energy. You need to... <laughs> they just can see. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't attack. They thought like, or did any would be stuck? Could have been an option, but as soon as we got the Elder Creation GX off, we would have put the opponent to a clock and we had great catcher and boss door. So, it's fine as it is, it was a weird game to say the least, but if the opponent would have attacked us, we could have gone for Alter Creation instead, then he would have probably went for like switch boss plays. I don't know what happened, but uh, we pulled off the win here and uh, hopefully this time we're gonna be able to showcase that this is the best deck in the format. We're up against Eternatus and Eternatus does have a huge bench space and uh, has a lot of Crobats which we can easily take down. We lost the coin flip, that's bad. Because the opponent will go first, will get the energy onto his Eternatus. And we start with a Zacian. Do we start with ADP? Probably not, because if we start with the ADP, he's probably gonna be able to knock it out afterwards. Yeah. We do have a switch anyhow, so it doesn't matter too much. We also have the Dene. This is not a bad hand, this is a very good hand to be honest. And he's playing... <laughs> You have a good deck. He's playing the Steelix deck. This is the Steelix deck that actually uh, was posted on my channel uh, a while ago. Actually, a couple of days ago. This is very, very busted. Okay, he goes first and he even starts with Crobat. He has thrown in a Crobat in this Onyx list. If he doesn't have Capture Energy or Quick Ball, he's done for. And this list probably runs on Capture Energy and Great Ball. So, there's the Capture Energy. Fine. 
We have energy spinner, we have switch, and uh, this is the most busted hand I've seen so far. Okay, buff batting, don't mind that. This is the updated Steelix list, not Eternatus at all. Okay, so what to do with the best deck in the form is that you use energy spinner, you find your water energy, there's only one in here, you do play two for things that happen like that, there's saucers all around, doesn't matter at all, so that here, you go for quick ball, getting rid of the metal type energy, finding your, uh, what else do you need? Probably don't need a lot, I think I will just get out my amazing rare Jirachi. Because with Amazing Rare Jirachi, you can actually saucer onto that, which is pretty saucy, if I say so. We can energy switch the uh, energy onto the ADP. We can switch over to uh, the Jirachi. We can slap down an air balloon on the Jirachi. We can use the Danny GX as well. This list is like insane. Like, look at that. We can even like quick ball away another energy so we can saucer that onto ourselves. Probably don't need another G Amazing Rare Jirachi, so you can just safely do this get rid of all these resources drawing more we have another one energy switches as it's bonkers we can even dreamy revelation if you want to we can get mawal up in place but mawal is in the discard pile or prize i think yeah mawal is prize doesn't matter too much energy spinner finding yourself more energies like three of them at the same time that's crazy uh, maybe we should have done that at <laughs> first. Uh, we have Dreamy Revelation and now we have a quick ball so we can get another energy in the discard pile. So we just need to draw into some saucers and we should be good to go. Look look at this deck go. That's just nasty. Already one in here. Probably, yeah, we, he's probably not gonna Marnie us. This, last, this doesn't have what it takes to Marnie. So Alter Creation. <laughs> and either he takes down our ADP instantly he needs six Pokemon with a retreat cost of four in his hand to knock us out. He has Great Ball, probably find something like the Gyarados or whatever. Or the Wallerain. Yeah, does that Wallerain also have a four retreat cost? That's funky. You have uh, Dreadnought, you have uh, Galissapod. There's a lot of Pokemon with a retreat cost of four. That's a couple of those. He does have... Yeah, probably need to dig for that Leon, by the way. Yeah, and because this fella, yeah, it doesn't matter. Even with the extra HP, he still goes down to the boss. We're gonna boss this Crobat, take a lot of prize cards and go from there. Okay, he doesn't have anything in the hand, which is crazy. <laughs> he just slapped some damage onto us. So we go for this, we boss that. We cherish ball for the means of it. Getting yeah, there's two energies in here, so that's busted. It's totally busted. Go ultimate ray, kachak. We take three prize cards for that. That's like the best deck in the format, right? We get two energies, and he has to top deck. He probably even if he tops deck, if he top decks Nessa, we will be in trouble. But what are the chances of that? He could capture energy and get his Orcorio. That's also something. But with our huge hand size, we shouldn't be worried about this at all. We can attack with the Zacian. Is that well played? Does he have the top deck of the century? <laughs> nope, he does not. Steelix, pretty pretty rogue, but he was playing a weird version with Crobat. And buff padding. Buff padding helps out, but not against the best deck in the format, unfortunately. We're gonna be playing some more games with the broken ADPZ. There's, uh, there's nothing you can do against that deck. That deck is just unstoppable. Definitely if you go first. If you go first with adp you're probably gonna win like a lot of the time, like 80% or, so or something. Unless you're up against something like Scorch that can just hit you, one hit KO you afterwards. Like Welder and then Flare Starter and then Welder onto that, then they can KO you at once. We see a hard face. Hi, how you doing? Hi, we are playing the most bonkers deck in the world. That is not afraid of anything. And uh, we also get a mulligan. Giving a mulligan to uh, an ADP list is like insane. What does he? What does he have to work with? Is that fairy energies? Oh, it's ADPization versus whimsy card. Yeah, let's take that extra card. Oh, it's not whimsy card. What is this? It was recycle energy. Actually, that fire energy resembled uh, a fairy energy, but it was just uh, yeah, Cinderace. A one-price Pokemon. 
It is hitting for weakness though, so probably gonna slap down that air balloon onto our Zacian so we can search out. Yeah, I already know what I'm gonna do here. We have a lot of energy switches. We can cherish ball, find our friend ADP. Yeah, cherish ball, ADP, instantly. Uh, ADP, how many water energies in here? There are two water energies. How many energy spinners? Two, that's four outs. Cool. I like that. Energy putting the air balloon over there. Quick ball away. Let's see what we have to work with. Do we have another Dedenny in the house? We do have another Dedenny in the house. I think I will just take my amazing rare Jirachi. Then, Dedenny or research? We've already wasted one research, so I think research first. We have more Cherish Balls and Quick Balls to work with. Energy Spinner, Saucer, Busted. This is just busted. Yeah, energy spinner taking that water energy. Thank you very much. Also taking two of these while we're at it. Yeah, maybe water energy. We have enough energies in the hand as it is. <laughs> this, yeah, that's why you're playing a lot of energy switches so you can get this kind of situation going around. So this is the craziest list I've seen so far with Amazing Rare Jirachi. If we had a switch, we could have even dug a little bit deeper with that uh, Jirachi, but we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna be saying like, GG. We've used Alter Creation Jack. So what we need to do is knock out three single prize Pokemon, which is probably very easy. Cinderace max damage up is 190, and he can also not Welder and Boss at the same turn. And actually, we need like a gusting effect on V Pokemon. That would be good. Like an item card, drag one of the Vs uh, up front. That would be good. Hopefully that comes very soon. So the one prize decks have a little bit of an advantage because right now I don't see it happening. I think I will put the water energy. I think I don't need to use research here since we knock out the Oranguru and get the Zacian set up anyhow. And we knock out anything in the game. We slap to 60. What, what can he do? Maybe we need to get out another attacker. It's like we attach to this one and then we ultimate ray on the other one. Like if we research, we could have we can draw into those energies, but we can also draw into a lot of saucers as well. Okay, Cinderace, 190. Okay, he, can, he needs... He's not gonna do it. He needs Welder, he needs Boss. He cannot use Great Catcher because the GX is in the active slot already. So yeah, not underestimating. Uh, this is the most busted deck for by far. If you're wanting to win tournaments, <laughs> this is how you do it. Uh, also, opponent has a sad smiley face. You can also get your TCGO code cards. Uh, of course, on potownstore.com, we can use Ultimate Ray, Shazam! And uh, we are gonna be putting all of our energies... Oh yeah, we could have actually used the manual attachment. Probably should have done that, to be honest. But he probably cannot KO our ADP, so it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. As mentioned, you can get your Potown Store uh, coupon code, Zablish TCG, going around. And you will actually get yourself 5% uh, of your next order which is a lot. If you're buying a lot of codes, that could come off to a lot of money you can save. Definitely if you're uh, buying like great stuff like the ADP League Battle deck, instantly already having like like more than 40%, like nah, more than 60% of the deck already. Reboot, reboot, boot, baby, oh boy. Cinderace in the active slot. Absorbing energies from the discard pile, and there goes the Marnie. Actually, all of our energies go back to the deck, which we don't mind. ADP will take a hit, doesn't matter. Actually, I can set up uh, Mawel, or we can set up another. Yeah, ADP is not gonna be happening because we put two of our water energies on here. Yeah, I think I will just draw cards with Crobat until our heart's content. Also, we can also set up the Mawel, but yeah, we're switching around to Jirachi, Stellar Wishing, all that good stuff. Yeah, we can actually slap down Jirachi, use Crobat, draw a lot of cards, try to find our Zacian and try to uh, ultimate ray onto it. That Marty was actually not bad. That Marty uh, the, actually allowed us to get all the energies back in the deck because at one point we had like all the energies in hand. So our ultimate ray would have done nothing anymore. Mawal can actually now slap a base damage of 40 plus 30 for every one of the opponent's bench Pokemon. So de depending on the bench size, Mawal could also be uh, a very good attacker. So maybe slapping down Mawal is better than Crobat and then drawing everything we need. We still have access to one more Dedenne, so this is easy as pie. You just 
grind on the ladder. We've already 19 minutes in and we're going to be having a lot of victories on our belt for sure. So that's how quick games go. If you want to uh, get those coins, get those rewards from the versus ladder, this is the deck for you. Also, let me know in the comment section what you want to see up next. I've already have a huge list of decks that we still need to uh, figure out. Okay, another opponent concedes here against the best deck in the format. Nothing can stop it. We're on a win streak of three and there's only 19 minutes into this video. That's like insane. And that's also including the intro, by the way. <laughs> okay, next up. Okay, what do we want to face? Another one prize deck. Blacephalon is a deck that we can be afraid of because it can just be that explosive. Luke Metal? Is this Luke Metal or is it another Steelix deck? Tails never fails. We win the coin flip, yeah. If we win the coin flip and we start with a Zacian, there's a lot of uh, win rate going around here. We start off with Jirachi though. Mm, that's not the best thing in the world. Although we get a Mulligan and we dig two cards deep and we get a, a card of the turn, so... Oof, <laughs> TCGO shuffles. Okay, first things first, you have a good deck. That's what we can uh, uh, agree on. We're gonna take that mulligan. That's another, like, TCGO shuffles, for real. Yeah, this is looking pretty scary. Come on, Jirachi, find us a quick ball, will ya? A research, or yeah, a cessation. It's even better, better than a quick ball. Because right now, we can do this, attachment. And go for crazy Intrepid Sword. Okay, we have Cherish Ball, we have Energy Switch, we have Switch. This is good. <laughs> so out of nowhere, this amazing Jer Jer amazing Red Jirachi put our uh, terrible start into a wonderful start. That's how it goes. Next turn, we can, of course, and also this is better than attaching to the ADP because if he's running some sort of a Crushing Hammer build, we would have been in a worse situation because our Water Energy or something would be gone. Right now, Cherish Ball, ADP, then... Um, Energy switch, attach of turn switch, ultra creation, bam. Easy. And if we get the first ultra creation GX off, we're probably gonna be the deck that's gonna win. He could also try to go for the exact same strategy, but he already got rid of a water type energy and an energy spinner. So the chance of him getting into that uh, energy, that water type energy is slim, depending on like his prize cards. There could be energy spinners prize, there could be a water energy prize for all we know. He already used uh, the Danny here. There's our ADP. Should we be afraid? Should we be afraid? Also, if he does some funky stuff like that, I think at the point where we alter create. Oh no, I actually want to say if we alter creation, we Marnie. That's what I wanted to do, but now things go wrong horribly. At least we have the Cherish Ball, so that is turning into a Dedenny for sure. Yeah, he didn't get alter creation jacks off, also didn't get any energy in play. That's huge. Three bots. Mmm, three balls in the discard pile. Oh, that's not what I want to see here. At all. We do have Eldegos and Great Catcher, so let's just scout a little bit. We have the Great Catcher, we have the boss, and we have Eldegos. So it's pretty okay. It's research time. Getting, getting rid of three balls. That's how, that's how we do. That's how we roll here. Uh, yeah, Salsa time. Uh, Aegis Slash Mawal. Yeah, let's just. He has a huge hand, right? Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, just slap those down. <laughs> That's funky, right? I know. Research. Vroom. Vroom. Energy spinner, energy switch. Where is our ADP? Oh, yeah, here, here is our ADP. I was saying, where is our ADP? But here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mawal put some stuff down. Let's get ourselves the water energy. Water energy. Energy switch, get me that energy and put it on the ADP. Thank you. Now we can just still use Dream Revelation, dig deeper into the deck. We have a quick ball to dig for something like uh, more energies next turn with a Crobat. For now, let's just switch over to ADP and use the amazing old third creation, GX. We did it. Fellas, we won the game. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What now? We are the first that uses Alter Creation and he has no room for like, uh, he already has a Crobat in his discard pile. So maybe he just have, he has access to the Denny, that's all. Not more, not less, that's it. And we need to figure out if we top deck an energy, we can go for a quick ball Eldigos to knock something out. Or we Crobat and just draw into the Great Catcher or boss. That would be like the dream, right? How many switches left? 
Two switches left, two air balloons left. Hmm. <clears throat> that is interesting. If we top deck an air balloon, that's also good, since Jirachi can then dig. Okay, lots of Pokemon on the bench, that's for sure. This gets its three prize cards, and then the other one as well. Great catcher, well, that is annoying. We do have switch, so it doesn't matter. That means we can play down the switch, slap down the Zay, now. Play down the switch, quick ball away one of the Pokemon, use Cr Crobat for a lot of cards, and then hopefully find energy and air balloon. And great catcher, like, I I'm not asking for a lot. And uh, he is digging for his water energy or energy spinner. Okay, he has his energy spinner. Does he have what it takes? He needs to find saucer, energy switch. One energy switch down the drain. Okay, cherish ball. Another ADP, just thinning out the deck. Is he going to use research here? Dig for puzzle pieces, cherish ball, or did he already use research? <laughs> yeah, he used boss. Okay, he used boss, or no, he used great catcher to do that. One great catcher in here, one boss. His his hands should be filled with boss, right? Okay, there's an intrepid sword. No ultra creation, so we are good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're good to go. Okay, ADP, what are you doing here? Let's get rid of you. We have another Dedane here. Oh yeah. Dedane is probably better than Eldigos, right? Because we have access to more stuff. Okay, switcheroo. The good old classic switcheroo. Let's just hope we draw into good stuff. Great catcher energy, boss or energy, boss and energy. Sure, I'll take it. I'll actually get the water energy to attack with. Let's go. We even have Leon, so Leon could not take down the Zacian, but we can, however, take down the Denny right there. And that's game. That is how the game functions. Ultimate Ray. Kacha! So the Dedane goes by, we set up an attacker and we have Quick Ball for Eldigos. One here, one there, and we can even set up the Mawal here, he has a huge bench size, so there we go. We won the game, <laughs> again. There's a switch card, there's a lot of more things that we can draw. This deck is unstoppable, that's what I will name the video here. Best deck in the format, unstoppable. So yeah, people were uh, asking for competitive stuff. They actually said like, you have a lot of rogue deck ideas, but now it's time to just look at the best decks again. And that's for exactly what we're doing. We're also gonna be checking out Sun to Scorch list, the updated Vivid Voltage list. Still haven't done that. There's a Marnie. The only thing we need is a Quick Ball to win the game. And seeing as we only used one, we will probably draw into another Quick Ball. Yeah, that's what I say. Know the game to beat the game. That's how it goes. We won. If he knocks something out, we won. If not, we need to find Leon here. If we find Leon, we can knock out ADP with the Zacian. Could be a thing. We could switch around to Jirachi, use Dream Revelation to just... Okay, reset stamp, fine. Giving us the research, well. We still have access to a great catcher, so I think I will take that opportunity. Air Balloon here. Attachment here. Research! You just need to find a great catcher, right? We don't have it, but Jirachi will find it. Mark my words. Jirachi will find it. Quick ball. Okay, great great catchers in here, as well as Leon. Okay. Nothing we need out of that bunch. Come on, dreamy revelation. Energy. Energy on top. I take the quick ball. To just thin out the list. Just need to find a great catcher and we win the game. Sword. Yeah, don't need the energy. We have the Leon. We have the Leon. We win. What now? He cannot stamp us again or Marnie again because if he Marnies, we draw into the great catcher. <laughs> yeah, what now? Also, he needs to find a way to gust right now. And seeing as he, there's a, the Danny has a liability for sure. The Danny has a liability. He has Eldigos, Eldigos Marnie. That might be a way. Eldigos boss. Okay, interesting. He he might think like uh, we have four boss in our discard pile. Ultimate Ray. Well, that is okay right now because we have Leon. He's not gonna expect that. Our list is prepared for everything. 
because Leon will allow us to slap 290 damage. So we don't even 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 need the gust. We don't need the gust. We can even promote Jirachi to find for a great catcher. I know, but or even Elde goes for a boss. But let's make it fancy and try to play it out with a Leon. Well played. You have a good deck. So the Leon in action. <laughs> Bam! Get out of here. Leon party. Okay, that's how Leon will work in the future. 290, like that's insane for three energies. Ah, that's busted. Okay, how many minutes into this video? 30 minutes. Let's play one more game. Like this list is unstoppable. Can anybody stop this list from working? We already have a four win streak. We're just making a random video about this deck and uh, things go wild. Things go wild indeed. Okay, let's see. What do we want to see? Mm, everything. We want to see everything. Mirror matches, uh, one prize decks. We don't mind. We win against everything. Waiting for the, the best deck in the game. All right. We're up against calling the coin flip with an ADP. Actually, with an Arceus coin. The God's Pokemon. Ta-ta! We lost the coin flip. No. No. They're gonna go first. That's bad. Okay. We start with a Zacian though. We start with a Quick Ball and a Saucer. Ooh. That's saucy. <laughs> yeah, still liking that. He starts with something. Oh, you have a good deck, sir. You have a good deck. We need to figure out... Oh, he's playing it with Galarian Berserkers to just hit the maximum damage output to one-shot V-Maxes. Interesting. Will it clunk up his deck? We'll see. Quick Ball, the Dene, he's playing energy switches in here. He does need energy switches since he goes first. Understandable. We have an Intrepid Sword. I actually wonder if he's gonna have... Okay, there's Mawal. What is he gonna do with the Mawal here? Mawal? We don't have anything. You, you can scout my hand all you want, but I'm going to go for like Quick Ball, the Dene instantly. Huh. Hopefully we will be able to pull it off. We have Quick Ball, the Dene, Switch, Amazing Rare Jirachi, Crobat, Research? That's a lot of stuff, right? Another Energy Switch down the drain. Now I wish I was playing Energy, uh, actually uh, Crushing Hammer is here. <laughs> but we don't. We have Leon though. Leon, that's 260. <laughs> Imagine like playing purization with Leons and Galarian Zigzagoons, then we probably should get there. Okay, the damage, yeah, that's a good start. Switch down the drain. If he wins, it doesn't matter because he's also playing the best deck in the format. The attachment going down on the ADP. Okay, also gets an energy from that. That's, that's bonkers. Two quick balls though. Energy goes down the drain here. Finding ourselves. Amazing rare Jirachi. We have more Cherish Balls to work with, right? Cherish Balls and two Quick Balls. So I think I will do, do it like this. Jirachi. This, Quick Ball. Quick Ball the boss. Yeah, here comes the Danny GX. We can already like energy switch it to the AD, to the station right there. Let's go. We do split four energy switches, so look at that. We could have gotten the water type energy. If only, <laughs> if only we didn't. If only we would have gotten something else. Like maybe the ADP here would have been better. Energy spinner. Do we get a lot of energies in discard pile? Like two is enough, right? But we need to dig for puzzle pieces to be faster than the opponent. Need to be faster than the opponent. We got rid of a lot of things, but you don't need a lot of energies in this matchup. Okay, there's our ADP. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we need to find a water type energy. Come on, Jirachi, energy spinner. Like, yeah, we have the water energy. Yeah, we have the water energy, but not the alter creation just yet, unfortunately. Probably not running hammers. Yeah, just leave that in the active. Let's go, Intrepid Sword, let's go. 
Okay, it's getting scary. We do have energies in the discard pile so we can saucer saucer attack if need be. But I actually want to get this Alter Creation GX off earlier than the opponent. He does have two liabilities. We only have one, which is scary, scary already. He stacks 20 more damage. He needs to find his water energy though. Maybe he doesn't have it. If he doesn't, we should be good. If he, if he has, we're... Okay, Marnie. Interesting choice. We did attach that water energy, so I'm glad we did that. Vroom. Look at that. Energy switch. That's all we needed. Jirachi in the active, just looking menacing like the dreamy revelation. Okay, he does have the water energy. Busted. That is busted. It's gonna be the battle of the boss. Like Ultra Creation. Fine. That's not good. Definitely not good. Energy switch. This over here. Zation number two. Probably will not need two Zations in this matchup. Quick Ball Dene. Leaving space open for an Eldegos potentially later. Okay, we have a boss, so maybe we can leave him stuck in the active a little bit. Attachment there. If we research, we also give up a lot of our good cards. We can research later though. Dreamy Revelation, Crobat. Taking the Crobat. Retreat. Do we use it to find like if we boss, we can LD goes it again. So maybe that is the best approach here, making sure he is not able to do anything. This guy has a two retreat cost, so that could be nice. How many switch cards has he played? One. Maybe he doesn't have a way out. Yeah, that's the thing we need to hope for. Let's go. Alter creation. Catching. We do have great catcher and boss still left and LD goes, so it's fine. Maybe he's stuck. He needs a gusting card and a switch, and a card with five cards in hand. Is it possible? If not, we can upgrade this game by taking the first KO. Attachment on the ADP. No boss. Ladies and gentlemen, no boss. We did it. He could have great catcher still, which would be crazy. Cherish Ball to Danny, digging for... My great catcher is a one-off. It could technically be priced. We have access to Aldegos to instantly take a KO here and then set up our Zation to win the game. That's how it is. That's how it is. And seeing as he has, has another weak Pokemon, this looks to be okay. We actually made sure we did some funky stuff here with that boss. Okay, the Danny, what in the world? No Marnie, that's good. Does he find his great catcher? Air Balloon. He does find a way out. So he can retreat his Galarian Berserker, which allows him to actually take... Oh, he has the great catcher. Ladies and gentlemen, he found it. He found it. That's, that's busted. Well, we can... If Jirachi finds the good stuff, we can actually knock out the ADP here with our Zation. But it's not gonna matter too much because he's gonna be winning the game anyhow. Ah, oh, that's nasty. Like for real, getting the great catcher from that research? His one-off great catcher? Ah, uh, if he didn't get the great catcher, we would have won this game. But nope, it is not the way it is. How many things in here? Only one boss. I, I, we are done for. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are done for. Okay. Finally, our winning streak comes to an end thanks to his lucky, lucky shot right there. What do we need to do? We can uh, attach and try to go for Leon to knock him out with Zation, but his Zation is ready to knock us, our, us out. So we need to attack with ADP right here. There's no other way. We need to then find something like... Yeah. Boss? We need the boss. Or great catcher. Either works fine. Like if we get the boss right now, 
Still has five cards in hand. LD goes boss. And hope he doesn't have. Yeah, boss. I'll take the boss and I'll play the crowbat down. Maybe we get the great catcher so we can dig for other things <laughs> instead. Okay, we have an air balloon. Not gonna matter too much. Cherish ball, also not gonna matter too much. Dreamy revelation, what do we have to work with here? We have the great catcher here, okay. Hmm, hmm. We can great catcher research. Yeah, that will not matter at all here. Retreat! Yeah, I think I will just boss and then great catcher next turn. 180. Yeah, ultimate ray. Yeah, if he has boss, he wins. I cannot uh, believe he will not have it. Energy there, energy on the LD go. Sometimes the float up for 80 can knock out weak Jirachis. One, two, yeah, he got that great catcher. So the great catcher is a game winning card. Yeah, just bosses and show me you have the best deck in the format. Yeah, either way, either way, he can knock us out thanks to Galarian Berserker, so that's just well played anyhow. Yeah, we were checkmated from the start. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of ADP Zation. As you can see, it's the best deck in the format. If you, uh, you're either you win all matches or you lose mirror matches, that's how we go. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know. Subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG content, and I will see you guys in the next video very, very shortly. Peace.